Okay, this just came from the Curiosity rover that is up on Mars. That's been taking pictures forever up there. And they see these stalks coming out out of this, apparently a rock. And they're freaked out. Whoa, what is this? <clears throat> well, I have mud fossils. And I believe they're the same type of things that are on Mars. And I have one here I'm going to show you in a second. I believe this is biological. And this is either tendon or it is a vein or an artery. And the same thing here, vein or an artery or tendon. These are the heel bone of a foot. And the, the, the fibula is missing, just as it is in my specimen right here. All right, this is what's called a mud fossil. And this is here from Earth. And what I am looking at right here is, and I'm gonna show you the microscope. This is a microscope, telescoping microscope. And right here is where I believe that structure is right there on the one that's on Mars. Now, let's look at it up in the microscope, and I'll show you why I believe that is, would, would have created a stalk. If it was here on Earth, this center is where the stalk would come up. It is eroded away. But look at the black and the red. You see this? Whoops. Well, maybe you can even see it a little better there. That's probably a little better. Now, you see the black and the red? That indicates there's blood. Let me tone, tune this in a little bit. Close enough. <laughs> well, look at the black and the red. And then remember, this, I'm saying, would have been a stalk that comes up. It's very fibrous. Now, you see what we have here? Look at this. You see this red and the black? Look at that carefully. You see this here? Now, I, you say, well, that's just a shadow. Well, I don't think so. There are shadows here. Yes, absolutely there are shadows. But I don't see anything in front of it to create a shadow. Now, what is these... What are they made of? That I'm not certain of. But there's something structured. It's like a tube. You can see it's like a tubular looking thing. And I think it ran down, and I believe this was probably... I'm going to have to go with an artery or a vein. Because this also has this reddish looking color. And I don't think this is strictly a, um, a shadow either. Although I can't be positive of this, what I'm saying. But I do believe this is biology. And I believe the same thing would have come out of the foot that I'm showing you here. And this is almost like the leather that I have found on all of my stuff too. Now if you look carefully, I believe this little spot here is where the tendon ties in. It would come up the leg. And this, boy, it sure looks like it's got to be a blood vessel to me. And I believe it would be from a, a vein because it looks blackish. Now that is the same spot as on my foot here. Hold on to me. Turn the lights on here. Right. That's the same spot as here on mine. And there's a little cutout here which was the spot that would have fallen off on that other foot. And then of course I have the fibula, the same thing that one has. The fibula's gone and that little tendon spot that comes on the side which I still have. I don't know if you can see it as a little cutout. Well, actually, yeah, you can. Hold on. Hold on. Take it easy. You see right in there? That's where the tendons come down and they lock onto the legs. So that gives you the pull and to hold everything together. Tendons are tough. All right. I'm going to show you something here that is from <clears throat> my collection of what I call no-toes which are humanish looking feet this is where the bone comes down and there's a stalk you see these bloody red spots here and this is more bonish material now coming straight up from there is what i believe is what they're seeing on mars all right what i was showing you in the telescoping microscope here was that bone implant <laughs> where the bone is there and it has to be fed with veins and artery. Our artery feeds the blood and the vein comes back. That's what those tubes were. They're, they're tougher than the flesh that surrounded it. 
Now you can see, you see the blood gushing out of here? They all have that same sort of stuff. This could even be a hand, I'm not sure, but I think it's a foot. And this is, I'm pretty certain, is a foot. And we have tons of these. I have another one I'm going to show you right here now. All right, here's another one of the no-toes. That's in a, almost totally turned to a sandstone block. But if you look right there, and you look right here, <clears throat> that's where these stalks would have been coming up like on Mars. Now this this is actually green moss is growing out of here. It's been in my shop here for many years and I don't normally put water on it. Every now and then I do to look at features but the, the moss is growing into a red blood supply right there. There's an artery there and I could put my finger on it and feel the depression of the artery. We might be able to see it in the microscope. All right, this was from that no-toe that I showed you. There was some green moss looking stuff growing there. Well, I believe that the two, the vein and the artery are right in here. And those are the things, hold on, let me come up and down with this a little bit. Basically right there, this one and this one, are where the tubes come down to feed this. This is a bone emplacement of some sort. Let me light it up a little bit brighter. You see where the moss is coming right out the back? It's growing there. And these were, I believe, the two tubes would come up. And what we're looking at is this right here. That's that no-toe. And that's the heel part where the, the moss is growing out of it. And this, well, it's hard to see. But Right coming up, there'll be a stalk coming up, right, just like we saw on Mars. And there'll be two of them, because you have to have a vein and an artery. Okay, this is from a, my, a friend of mine, Tish Egerton. She has a bunch of these. And this is a no-toe. And you can see, back here, there's going to be a ton of blood coming down. Now, they erode in most situations. The blood vessels and everything go away. But on Mars, I have found that things the finest details stay intact. It's like just barely sandblasted with dust. And the, the more structurally sound things stay. And I found a lot of biology on Mars, not just what I'm showing you today. Now, I'm sure you notice the red blood is everywhere. It's saturated with red blood. <clears throat> you say, why is that? Well, the reason is, is that your feet and your hands are the terminus of your blood. The artery comes down, the vein comes back, comes back, and it changes colors. The red is coming down where it has, has oxygen, and black is coming back where it lost its oxygen.